Okay, the fact that I even have to record this in a bathroom should honestly tell you enough about what I'm talking about and how important it is. Alright, you see how I got this whole entire system set up on my piece of paper? Okay, now, in the state of fucking whatever state it is that doesn't have as much funding for corrections, which would be jail, you don't have as much space for the people that would go to jail for this drug that they have. And they would get that drug from the black market, which the cops get, and then next thing you know, it's back on the black market. How, how does that happen? It's fucking magical. They go inside this jail where there's not enough space so that they can get other people in there for drugs and next thing you know they're good to go but hey what about this other state let's call it uh, Mississippi jail and that's where we'll have plenty of space for people to go to jail for drugs and the court costs help us fund jails to hold more people and if there's more funding for maybe a state like Mississippi, which is, I believe, the third largest industry for corrections. Next thing you know, all right, um, it has you wondering, does the price outweigh the costs? Now, do, are, are these people worth more than how much money you could make off marijuana? Or is the money being made off of marijuana more than how much money they're making off of people having drugs so they can hold them in jail and make more money in the process? So, with people getting their drugs, you know, and the police having a way of filling this space up with people that are trying to alter their state of mind. They're trying to um, change the way they experience perception. You know, they try to do that for people with cases of schizophrenia, you know, because their, their mind doesn't work the way it's supposed to, sober. You see how that's just like the most paradoxical thing ever since they always tell you growing up, your mind is not supposed to be altered. Because if it is, then it's not your mind anymore. It's fucking out of control. This is how the control works. This is how the government decides that we need more people in jail. And what's the easiest way to put people in jail? Possession of substances. Because it's so enjoyable. It's so enjoyable for them to use these substances and that's why they're going to jail because, you know, these police officers are not making any money off of the people getting drugs from the black market. See, now they're making money if they put it back on the black market after these professional extortionists, the policemen, put these people in jail and this substance, this drug, that's so fucking dangerous that it is not prescribed by a doctor who will give you dangerous substances like diamorphine, which is heroin. It's actually a lot more pure than the heroin that you get on the black market because it's held to a pharmaceutical standard. They will give you those drugs if they can make money off of the drugs that they prescribe to you for pain relief. But hey, what if they can make a bunch of money off of marijuana when they decide that there's a big, you know, demand for marijuana helping people and giving them the relief from pain that they're looking for without all of those negative side effects. But think about this, how would the big pharmaceutical companies be able to make so much money 
off of people being sick. That's the bottom line. If you're good to go, if cannabis treats all of your symptoms and you're not experiencing any more negative health symptoms, then they don't have as much of a demand from people to get more pharmaceuticals. They're going to put them on these antipsychotics that's going to make them normal, you know, not schizophrenic out of their mind, you know. Um, like these drugs apparently do because they're on the black market. That's what these cops want you to believe. They want you to believe that because you're getting your drugs off of the black market, that that means that those drugs are going to make you out of your mind. That's not the case. Cannabis doesn't make people go out and murder anybody or make anybody fucking do whatever the fuck they want to do. They're going to do whatever the fuck they want to do regardless because that's their problem. That's a problem with that person that has nothing to do with the drug. That's been made the scapegoat for the longest fucking time now because it's the perfect setup. You just blame the drug for being the problem. The black market where none of the money is being made by all of these police officers that are putting people in jail so that more money is put into people being in jail. All right, that's all I got for right now. Stay tuned. I'm always here to tell you the truth regardless of how much fucking flack I get for making it so apparent to everybody what the truth actually is in the best possible way that you can understand what I'm telling you.